What's going on gamers? Today we'll be going over how to install paintball onto your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Sometimes survival is just too time consuming to fully enjoy, or you might not have a ton of time on your hands. Mini games are a great alternative. With that being said, this is Paintball, a simple and fun game mode based loosely on the popular real life alternative. You have a weapon that shoots snowballs as paintballs with the goal of targeting the enemy players. Your objective is to rack up as many kills as possible and bring your team to the top in a deathmatch style. And here we're going to show you how to install it on your Apex server with ease. First, you'll need to head to your main Apex panel. And once you're there, you'll scroll down to the jar file field and search up the name paintball. And once the option that comes up is highlighted, you'll go ahead and click on that. From there, you're going to click change version. Then you'll click use included world as we built a world for you. Then restart now. And then you'll launch it up in 1.14.4. Once you join an arena, you'll teleport to a lobby spawn and wait for the game to start. You'll have multiple wool blocks in your hotbar with different colors along with a leave bed. Scroll over the wool blocks to see what type of weapon is associated with that block. Right click the block to choose the weapon. The first weapon that we'll be looking at is the sniper. The sniper is pretty straightforward. It shoots straight with no shot drop at all, so it'll fly straight at your target. Next is the rocket launcher. This one fires a snowball that will, on impact, launch multiple snowballs in an area for area damage. Next, we'll be looking at the shotgun. The shotgun fires out three snowballs in a random spread. This can be useful if there are a few enemies in front of you. Finally, we'll be looking at the last regular weapon, which is the minigun. The minigun has higher fire rate, but low accuracy is the trade-off. So... It can handle many players, but probably not for a good distance. The next one that we'll be looking at is a special weapon particular to admins, and that is the admin gun. The admin gun has the fire rate of the minigun with the accuracy of a sniper. This can make for a deadly combination. During the game, you'll be placed on the red or blue team and be transported to spawn for your respective team. As I mentioned, you need to rack up points and you need to right click to shoot in order to do that. Once you land a shot, it'll be one shot, one kill. The next thing that we'll be looking at is the permissions or the ranks. There are four basic ranks on pretty much every server, and that is admin, mod, VIP, and member. The first one we'll be looking at is admin, which is essentially the owner, and they have all permissions. The next one is mod, and mods have almost the same amount of power, but they can kick, ban, and mute players, but they cannot edit maps. Next is VIP, which is technically a step up above members, but there aren't technically any specific benefits to it. And finally, member is the most basic form of player that you can find, and it'll be the default one that you are set to when you first join the server. The command is pex user username group set and then the group permission you wish to give. Paintball is an exhilarating, fast-paced, run-and-gun type game where you'll experience hours of competitive fun. It can be added to your server easily with our one-click installer, and with every pre-made setup we have, there is little to no configuration or development knowledge needed. However, don't forget that you'll only be able to play one mini-game at a time unless you use the Bungie Cord Network. That'll be it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.